Well, I really like the warmth <laughs> before I couldn't even get them to come out. Let's open up their brand new home, their housey home. Get them in there. Probably turn on the light. It's a bit easier to see. Right. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to do this with one hand. I can just lift the entire thing in. I'm very friendly. And then, if not, I can open it up very easily. There you go. Come on. Oh, now, now they've gone and ran away. Come on. You can just climb up and get me a cage. But I can't really put it in there because it's a little too big. I should probably just fix them up and put them in, but I don't think they'll like me very much yet. We have quite the journey, haven't we? Not sure how to get them out. Ooh, ooh, I just had the most ingenious idea ever. If it doesn't fit in like this, I can just tilt it. And then a lot more likely to go out like that. Let's see. We'll come out there. Come on, guys. Oh, there's one. There's the champagne tan. I think you don't want to climb down, but it's on the other side. Ah. Very awkward. <laughs> and there's the white one. And the black one poking its head out up there. <laughs> they don't want to leave. Come on, guys. Get out. My hand is beginning to ache. <laughs> they don't want to come out. Come on. <sighs> well, they're going to be awkward. I'm going to have to take them out by hand at the risk of them biting me and I can't really hold a camera when I do that so okay now they're all in on the water bottle which I hadn't put in before oh. I had to put all their bedding in because they were running around. I couldn't even see them. So it gives them some security. There's a little champagne town. <laughs> they don't seem to like me very much. That's why I don't want to see you. They have had quite a long journey. I often knocked that thing down. Which I need to pick up again. Okay. And a little slipper thing. Which originally had been in there. Uh. Mm, I'm sort of sitting there. Like I said, I don't want to explore. I should probably put some food in. Uh, yeah, a bit of food in the bowl. I'm not sure how much they eat. Oh, bloody hell, open. I'm not sure how much they eat. So I'm just gonna sort of.
wing it a little bit. Uh, I think a bit more than that. That, that seems that seems about actually it's probably too much. But again, I really don't know how much they eat in a sitting. Let's go put that in. Hello. Oh, bye bye. It's going to take me some time to get used to being in a new place. And they've had quite the journey. I want to go outside and get them some sticks. Some more sticks to chew. I mean, they have those, but that's, that's more like a bed than choosing. Oh, you do think? You do face. No, I'm guessing you have to leave him alone for a bit until they calm down. And she's eating. There's a bit of potato in there. I think she's going after the potato. Still not sure whether or not they've worked out how to use their water bottle. Have not made any attempt to use said water bottle. There's black ones in there. Not entirely sure where. Oh, pinkies again. I just know they can put their head through the bars if they want to. Maybe they can't go anywhere afterwards. This is a pretty big drop to go down. So you know. They can't really get down. They won't jump if they can't see the fall. I've kind of lost with half of them off. <laughs> I know the black one's there, the white one's over there. Um. Oh, there's a the champagne one. You can't see it on the camera there. She's in there. There, <laughs> boy, you going. Like she's chewing all in there. You can't see it. No. But yeah, not much going on. But they are being cute and fluffy and running around now. Which is a bonus. At least I know that the journey didn't kill them. <laughs> 